Alright, so I'm going to be doing my first uh, hive inspection after installing this package, and it's been raining a little bit, so I'm going to keep this quick, both for the sake of the bees and for the sake of my camera. There's actually still uh, some um, honey in this feeder can, so I guess I'll leave that after this. It's still dripping. the bees on the bottom here. There we go. So let me first uh, take a look at the queen cage here. So the queen is actually out. There's a bee in there, but the uh, they ate the uh, marshmallow that I stuck in there to keep her in there for a bit. So I'm gonna try to find her now. They have a little bit of comb that they're building up already with some nectar in there, so that's a good sign. I will take this queen cage out now. They've also been uh, going through quite a lot of sugar syrup. I've already refilled it twice now, so they've had a gallon so far. And I brought a little bit more to refill it today as well. So I'm going to do that now. With these in-frame uh, feeders here, there are little ladders that these bees can crawl down into to access the syrup. So I'm trying not to get them too wet and <laughs> actually have them uh, fall down in there because I don't want them to drown in it. So I'm pouring this pretty slowly so they have time to get out of the way. There's actually still more room in there, so tomorrow I may come out with uh, more and put some more in there. I actually forgot my hive tool, but I don't really need it actually because these uh, 
they haven't really had time to propolize the frame, so they're not really stuck at the moment. So it's pretty easy to get them out of there. So there are bees all over here, but... Oh yeah, there's a uh, wax on this side, and you can see they're actually getting quite a bit of pollen on this side. So there's nothing on this side. This is almost all foundation. There's a little bit of wax on that side. So this is the this is the frame that's closest to the feeder. So I'm still just looking for the queen here. Not seeing her. I can actually feel the heat from the bees coming up here. It's pretty impressive. So it's it's not too cold out. I mean, it's, like, what, 57, I believe? Looked at my watch. My watch doesn't actually have the temperature. There's actually almost fully formed uh, cells in this one, in the center of the frame here. On both sides, really. If I don't find her um, in too much longer, I may just put them away since it is still raining just a little bit. I mean, I could also look for eggs, but I don't think the waxes uh, or the cells are quite large enough for her to start laying eggs at this point. It's only been a week, and she may have. Uh, well, I'm not. I'm not sure exactly when she got out of the cage, since this is the first time I've opened it. There's only a couple more frames in here. Um, in fact, I'll take out, see these are, are not even touched yet, the ones that are farthest away. So to give myself some more room, I will take that one out and then I can push them over. I probably should have done that in the beginning. 
So here they're just beginning here to get this one started. And on the other side, actually, there's some nectar on that side, too. So I don't see the queen. It's very possible that I'm just missing her since I'm completely new to this. I didn't mark her with paint either. It seems like cheating to me. I want the challenge. Oh, a bunch of them fell off there. So you can sometimes get a sense of where she might be because the, the nurse bees will be kind of surrounding her, but... Since uh, it's only a single deep box right now, and they are concentrating on building comb, they're all so tightly clustered that it's hard to see if they're clustering, clustering around one particular bee, which would be the queen. And I've been calling this nectar, but it's actually, there's a very good chance that it's just the uh, sugar syrup that I've been feeding them, though there are, uh, there are blooms at the moment, there's, it's just uh, not a whole lot of it. We have, uh, like, dandelion at the moment. I think my camera just shut off for uh, some strange reason, so. Just restarted it. I'm nearly done here. So I haven't found the queen, but I don't want to bother them too much more, so this is the last frame that I'm going to be checking. Yeah, still don't see her. But I'm gonna call that good for now. Um, I was mainly concerned with uh, just making sure that she was released from the queen cage. And if she wasn't here for some reason, if these bees were queenless, then they would be giving off sort of a buzzing roar and they are not doing that so I can feel pretty confident that she's in here somewhere and I'm just missing her um, and I will check back in a bit to find her another time Hopefully when it's nicer outside. Um, for now I'm also gonna... Well, I'll keep uh, actually that, that top box on because there is still more sugar water in that feeder can that came with the package. Um, yeah. put 
this on? This is nearly done. I want to position this so that they can get to it, but it's not spilling down onto them. So I can actually see some on the screened bottom board. Though it's nice that it falls down beneath the hive and not onto the floor, which lets some of that humidity out. I can show you here. See all this, uh, this is sugar water that's fallen down from the bottom, or from the top, rather. I'd also like to do uh, regular mite checks as well for Varroa mite. There's actually a lot of moisture on this board, so that's not great. But I've moved this a little bit so that it's not dripping down through this top entrance here, which is probably what it was doing before. So they all seem okay, so I'm not too worried about it. Once that feeder can is done, then I'll make another video about why that screen is on the top of that box there and what I'm planning to do about it. And I'm going to call that good though. <laughs>